Hi, my name is Jake Brockwitz. This is a brief demo of the YAML4 module for Drupal 8, which is a form builder and submission manager. I'm starting out on the project page so you can get a general overview of the module. There is a full documentation website available that you can go to, and it includes a feature overview, installation instructions, frequently asked questions. There's also a roadmap, which is for the first release of the YAML4 module. The YAML4 module is still in beta. I'm hoping to get a release out in the next few months. And what I really want to demo is the YAML4 module in action. So I'm going to go over to my local installation, and we're on the main managing forms page for the YAML4 module. And I've enabled the examples and templates. And examples are just working examples of all the features available to the YAML4 module. But for now, I want to focus on the contact form which ships with the module. It's a very simple contact form with four fields. In this demo, I want to just add a company field. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is a drag and drop UI where I can hit add new element. I'm going to say text field. I'm going to add a company. You can see all the properties that are available, but you really only need to enter the title and hit save and it adds it to the bottom. You can see it there. And now I'm going to go over and give you the preview by clicking the view tab and you can see there's a company field. Now I've made a mistake. I didn't, the label's wrong. It should say your company and it's not required. So I want to show you how to fix that. You can use the UI easily to fix that. You could drag the field up, hit save, and then hit edit. The YAML4 module also ships with a very powerful feature where you can edit the source code behind a form. What this source code is, is the form API render array serialized to YAML. Now what I'm going to do, and I know that's a lot to digest, but for developers, they'd understand it immediately. And for non-developers, what's important to say is you can edit all the labels of your entire form in one place. And this is validated, so you can't really make a mistake. You can go in and say, OK, I want to change it to your company. And if you understand Form API, you can say, I need to make this required, and say true, and hit save. And then you could test. You could, we can view the form and see the changes have kicked in. And before I do a test submission, I kind of want to show one other feature, and it has to do with sending emails and handlers. So this contact form ships with a notification and confirmation that's sent out when you submit the form. And what handlers are is kind of the abstraction of the concept of how to do it. During the submission processing, a handler kicks in and handles the transaction. It decides what should happen with the submitted data. In this case, it's sending emails, but you can, um, for now, I'm also going to add a debug handler that's going to show you the raw data. The idea is custom modules and contrib modules can implement their own handlers to do transactions outside of Drupal. For example, they could subscribe to MailChimp newsletters for custom modules. They could call internal REST APIs and push the data internally. Very helpful for a HIPAA compliance site that might not want patient data in Drupal but want to push it internally. Um, there's an unlimited possibilities here, but I just want to show you this one. So I've turned on the debug, so now I'm going to finally do a test. And there's a test tab that will pre-fill out the form with reasonable defaults with an email address that actually works and phone numbers and all valid data. You actually have control of the valid data. I'm going to hit send and you can see that the transaction goes through and the debug handler is now showing us the raw data going into the database. Um, this is very easy to manipulate for a developer. Now the last and final feature I want to show in the YAML4 module is these videos have gotten a lot shorter because I've moved all these videos into inline contextual help. Um, so in line, you can go and hit play and get a full overview of each page that you're on. There are 20 videos on the site. I'm going to go in and show you all of them. In the main help page, it lists out all the videos and all the pages. Um, and this will gradually get built out and evolve over time. But I hope this feature helps people understand the YAML4 module and make it easier for them to adopt it and use it for their site. Um, once again, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy using the YAML4 module, and please post questions, feedback, and issues in the issue queue in the YAML4 module project page. Thank you.